Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 103 of Direwolf20 Server Play Series, Soren. Wow. I want you guys to know these are the instructions I gave Soren. I said, Soren, I want each of the rooms of the base to be chunk aligned so that when you're standing inside a room, you're inside one chunk. And then Soren did this. I mean, you are okay. in one. Look, look, I'm not Oops. anymore though. Look, now I'm gonna, no, you're one block off from chunk alignment, like literally one more block. And he's yelling at me, and he says it's my fault. No, I'm telling him math doesn't work out. 15 multiples. 15 nothing. 16 in any regard. <laughs> you can make it work. What's the least common denominator or the multiple of 15 and 16? Go. <laughs> um, one. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not in charge of math anymore. Um, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> cool. uh, I've rebuilt the deep resonance machine and it works beautifully. I think it's actually a little bit more efficient than it was before, which I'm excited about. I'm like super excited like at it. how tight it is. Like it's it's perfect, dude. And I tested the radiation, it's good. I tested making a new crystal. I got the 696984. Uh everything seems to be running quite quite well everything's compact the cabling goes back here i can even open the chest look i can open the chest and there's crystals ready to go i'm super excited i'm a little bit hyped soren this comes out that would just go in right and it should be replaced by this one nice that is so cool so uh that's a thing so I rebuilt that and it works well. Also, no more issues with chunk updates. Hooray. Yeah, we, that's good. we also tracked down the problem. Oh yeah? Yeah. So in every dimension at coordinate zero one twenty seven zero, there is a block that's sending just an endless stream of chunk updates. Um, we did track down which mod it is. I don't want to say which mod it is because it's all okay, good. So it's a mod doing it. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a mod that's causing it. Um, it's, it's, I, I don't know the exact details, but me and player and Algo spent a lot of time tracking down what was going on and we finally figured it all out and, uh, yeah, had a good, that was, it, it was good. Did you know that, um, Sampler has a, has a chunk render update thingy? It's actually pretty good. I did not, no. Yeah, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. So type that. I think that you can see it. See sampler. Yep. Render. Update show. What am I supposed to be saying? Is that cool? I don't know what it's doing. Uh, so place a block. So that is showing you what block is triggering a chunk re-render. Fair enough. Pretty cool. Nice. All right. I like that. Not bad, right? So that's the client side of Sampler. And then okay. same command, but hide instead of show to no longer show them. There's a bunch of other things you can do. Player wrote the sampler mod and it is really good. Like it's really more for server admins because you can get like you can get a, a trace of where all your tick rate lag is coming from, but it's amazing for server admins. Like, I really, uh, I kind of want to do a spotlight on it, even though, like, the average player would find no use in it. Like, you know, admins and stuff would probably really like it. Yeah. It would be cool. All right. Um, so, do we want to do Endergenic Generator today? This is, our base is powered by crystals right now, and we are actually good on crystals, so we can use this to power this base for the time being, if you wish. Um, let me make sure that the circuits can work. I haven't checked that yet. Okay. We did update Super Circuit yeah. Maker to the newer version. We did or we didn't? I did. Per your request. Okay. So, and I see you're reworking the Inscriber stuff. Um, maybe I'll start building an AE system today. That might be a cool plan. 
that sound cool? And I'll just run all the wiring and build it all myself and then make you cry. We come in multiple 15, 16. Look at all these P2P tunnels that Soren's doing already. He's got everything doing things. There's only two. Two. And it's that's, only one all. that's all he says is two. <laughs> Look, it's already confusing. It's not confusing. It's literally point one to point two. I'm so confused already. All right. Um, yeah, makes sense. Let's come back in a minute once I'm ready to start working on new things. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I'm taking a look at moving my some of the big stuff in my base. So I think like the first thing we should move is our refined storage system. So this dimensional transceiver is set to receive items on dire sort. It's not necessarily doing the power sets or the stuff. So let's take you. Um, this is the importer that I'm going to want to have. Um, these are network cards. So this one's not needed because this was really his purpose was getting stuff to the other dimension. Yeah, let's put you away. That should all be cool. Um, disk manipulator we're definitely going to want with all its upgrades. The disk drive, this holds all the items we have. Short of stuff in drawers, which I haven't exactly decided how I want to handle the drawer system yet. There's a couple approaches I could take here. We could do something with a fine storage. We could just dump it into AE. We could have AE talk to a storage drawer system. What do you want to do about storage drawers, Soren? Do you want to have storage drawers as our... Uh, for metals that can be turned into blocks, but nothing else really. What about like cobble and gravel and sand and all that? I'll be making a cobble works for that, so... Okay. I'll be using a different system. So this one was the network card that was linked downstairs to the basement where the power is. Um, so this is the bummer, right? When we break this, it's going to kill this automation piece down here. That's going to be destroyed, but that's okay. We can manage. Um, this network transmitter is the one for the auto crafting over there with, uh, Batania. This is our wireless transmitter. This is the way I move, by the way. I found the best way to move bases, Soren, is to just plop a diamond chest somewhere, fill it with all the things you're going to move, and then pick it up with a moving wand. Why does this sound like the origin story to a Soren chest? Nope. Speaking of Soren chests, <laughs> did you see what I got in the Sky Factory map that I'm playing? I only tweeted at you like 15 times, you so you better have seen it. Captured me. What? I've been told that you captured me. Yes. And I think if I die, I drop a chest, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna Correct. Torn bag. You monster. <laughs> So I want to place these in a smart way so that I know which crafters had which. Um, and that was not the smart way that I meant to do it, but that works, right? So these things go with this crafter. These things go with this crafter. And that's cool. Um, and then we're going to want you. Now, there's definitely lots of cable in this base. Um, kind of all spruce wood planked up. Over here are some more items that we're going to want to move. So these crafters, I don't really care if they keep all their associations. OK, um, because these are just crafting items. So there's no actual like this goes with this one kind of deal. So. That's cool. So there's that, and then there's that. So that should be a pretty good and then we can do over here. This is for the cow, which 
appears to have disappeared. <laughs> so this doesn't even work anymore. So that's a thing. My cow has vanished. And with that, I am sad. So we'll do this, this, and this are obviously associated. So that's cool. Okay. Now, storage drawers. I mean, there's a lot of other things, Soren, that storage drawers might be able to handle for us, like clay, metamorphic stone, obsidian, limestone, string, like I'd, mob I'd drop start. stuff. Yeah, you're nice for storage drawers. Yeah, What's that? Metamorphic. I just started voiding a lot of it. I even have right. to do drawers. But how would we do that with AE2? Can AE2 auto void things once they reach a certain limit? Like we could do an export bus kind of thing, but you'd need yeah. one export bus with a level emitter for each export. item type, right? Sure. Uh, uh, what's it called? Storage bus. Huh? A storage bus after you put one priority for where right. we want to send items. But it'll be a storage bus yeah, on drawer controllers, right? Do that, yeah. Okay. So basically, we will use storage drawers for many things, more so than just gold and whatnot. I would say that storage drawers should be used for anything that's going to be. So the other thing we can do, which would be kind of cool. So for like mob drops and farming resources, what I was thinking, I haven't entirely thought this through because there's a lot of resources that we need from farms. But we could do some kind of thing where we automatically turn the farms on and off as needed to get the resources we need. So instead of like the tree farm always running and just voiding excess, detect when we have a stack of wood, right? Like, like you know, right. 96 stacks of wood, let's say. And then once the, the chest is full, then we turn off the tree farm and either replace it with something else or... Um, you know, something along those lines. What do you think? That could work. What I'd like to see is if I can automate the the seed section of the farming station. Because we because there's two ways to do that, right? You could have one farming station per item, and then you can just feed redstone signals to it to turn it off. But that's probably a lot of farming stations. But if I can interact with the seed inventory, which I don't know if I can. Um, if I could find a way to do it, maybe even with like RF tools control, what I could do is just say, Hey, we have enough wood. So take saplings out of here and put wheat in. And then the next iteration through after like that last sequence of trees all dies, they'll be replaced with wheat seeds. Right. And we can just prioritize what's most important to us to have enough of at all times. So we could have, basically you don't have the control. You just unlock it completely. Right. And you have one thing for determining if there's an item in it. If it is, it'll keep the machine on. If you need more saplings or whatever, uh, whatever you want from the resultant, right. you have the input go in. So you add more to the input. Right. So it'd be different locking mechanisms. Right. You just leave the locking mechanism off, right? And pipe the items in. Like, I'm pretty sure you can interact with that inventory slot. I would, uh, what I would want to do yeah. is certain ones. So, like, Ender Pearls are a unique situation because they require endstone. And if we're using Ender Pearls for power, like we'll probably just leave that running all the time. But, um, you know, like saplings we could feed in and potatoes we could feed in and industrial hemp we could feed in if we decide that we need it. I don't know that we'll need industrial hemp because I don't think I'm going to move our IE generators. I don't think we're going to have the refinery and the industrial fermenter and all that and the diesel generator. What do you think? I don't have yet to figure out a use for outside of just wanting to play with it. I don't know what to do with IE. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's it's a fun way to build and a fun way to do power, but if we're hoping to be like as efficient and compact as possible in that new dimension, I don't know if it'll have a place. Yeah. You know, it's it's a fun yeah. mod. It's not a yeah. required mod. Right now, I know. All right, so I think that's kind of a plan. So maybe in the next episode or two, I'll work towards getting a farm set up like that where you know, as we get low on saplings, and we'll have to do some kind of metric, right? Like I don't want it to just flicker. I want it to be like when the barrel's full, stop putting saplings into the farm farming station. And when it's half full, start putting them in until it's full again, right? I don't want it to be like 
if it's less than a thousand because what's going to happen is as soon as we use one sapling it's going to be like all right more trees and it's going to be just flickering right on and off so that's annoying but i'm sure i can build something like that so we'll see but for now let's get this guy moved over to the new base uh we will be back in a minute okay so we're back guys Soren's just explained to me where he wants things. So the central hub of our base, if I just go down a level, <coughs> um, the controller will be in the center of this area, and here is where you want storage drawers. Yes. Okay. So for now, what I'm going to do is just put my refined storage system in here, and then we'll slowly migrate it. And I'm also going to put my storage drawers down here. And what I'll suggest is that we dump all your storage drawers into all my storage drawers for stuff, and then we'll kind of go from there. Does that work for you? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll start migrating to an AE-based system. But I definitely want to keep what just happened. You have a lot of things that have broken textures on them. Uh. Fur weaves? Yes. Yes, lots of leaves have broken textures. <laughs> That's if you break them with the world builder. I found really? that out. Neat. You have to place them down and break them again to get the actually be the right weave. To get the proper texture? That's crazy. Same thing with the oak logs. That was interesting. Okay, so I'm going to start putting together my RS system in a moment. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, Soren, I am going to put my storage system down here. I think we should be in good shape for that. So let's kind of okay. center this, make Soren happy. So that can be there. We'll put the controller maybe in the floor. That could be cool. That's a disk manipulator. And then we'll have the disk drive. And then we can have the crafting grid. And you're currently using 7R as a tick. So I'll use the wireless transmitter here for now. Yoink. And that should have no problem keeping up with the requirements. Probably soon that will expand. But for now, I just want to get my RS system moved over here and then eventually we'll migrate all to applied energistics. That's kind of the plan. I don't know how crazy real that plan will work out to be, but that's roughly what we're looking at doing. So you, one of these two I click on. Yay, it works. Cool. All right. Descending by quantity. Awesome. So then we'll probably want some automatic crafting going on. So we'll have a couple of you guys and crafters. So one, so we'll have the solderers. How about here? And then what we'll probably do. Yeah, let's put this crafter here. Facing down with these guys in it. This crafter here with these guys in it that works and then you really should only need that connection that's cool I could probably even move this if I wanted to and just have them all wire no wire in between them but I think we're good as is and then we'll want several crafters so let's see we've got the crafting monitor which we'll probably put up top here you know what I'm going to want is the pattern grid first. Pattern grid could sit underneath. That would be cool. And crafting monitor here. So there's what we interact with usually if we have to do a pattern here, if we have to do a monitor there. Nice. And then processing. You don't actually need stuff, but it's all good. Maybe what I'll do... To keep things consolidated that looks cool so there's your regular processing crafting and that's your other craftings now all these things are speed upgrades we'll get them in a minute we're gonna want importers on I want to say 
Can I do importers on the back here? That would be awesome if I could. We will find out, that's for sure. So can I request a processor at this point? So like a basic processor? We're short on redstone. All right, so what about one of these dudes? This will tell me if this is working or not. So I think we have to import out the bottom, right? That's probably what it is. I think we do have to do the bottom. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll get our speed upgrades in there in a sec, but then he pulls in and that marks that as complete. Basic printed processor. Isn't that what I just crafted? Oh, it's iron. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why it didn't work. So you should be marked complete now? Yes, good. And then if we try to make another one of those, one of these guys is running, beautiful. And then he gets pulled in and we're good. Okay, cool. So that's that. Cleaning up inventory a bit. So this actually works out pretty well for me. Next item of business will be these crafters over here. So I'm thinking these could just run into a line like right here. You know, once you get the hang of refined storage, it's surprising how compact you can make it, which is cool. So these are all craftings, right? So we're gonna wanna move these all in one go. The rest of this stuff, like these are blank patterns. These can live in this guy. And speed upgrades can probably do best living in here and here. Not stack upgrade, speed upgrade. Thank you. And then the rest of this stuff is just a matter of doing it. So let's come back in a minute. The next thing I wanna do is start moving my storage doors over here. So we'll do that in a moment. So by the way, totally using more than ADR if a tick per now. So I had to throw my dimensional transceiver down here, which is an import anyway, because we're getting mob drops from it. Um, so we wanna kinda have that there anyway. Um, this is probably not the final form of this. What I'll probably do is, this was just temporary because I was rushing because I was out of power and it was like flickering like crazy. What I should probably have is something like this. Boom. Uh, into this guy and then you can, these dudes, and then we're good, right? So then we can cover this up and it'll look nice and Soren won't yell at me. All right, storage drawers time, let's do that. If you're done, you're done. Let's go teleport home and get our storage drawers, which by the way, I wanna bring an ax, if I may. Uh, sure, let's just use this diamond ax, that should be fast enough. And then once we move these storage drawers and the farming storage drawers over, um, we should be pretty well in good shape. Cool. So let's tape up all these boxes, which is just fun. Oh, you're quick. These packing drawer tapes do not last long, do they? Okay, I'm going to need far more of those, like three or four more. So excited for this new dimension, guys. I can't even tell you. So there's more packing tape. Let's get like... There. That should be more than enough to handle what I want to handle. Teleporting. Let's go. All right, so you... Nice. 
That should be good, okay. So what I should put on is my magnet ring again. Dude, packing tape moves makes moving these drawers so amazingly awesome. Yes. It's literally the greatest thing ever. I don't know if it's the greatest thing ever, but it's really it's, good. It's pretty close. It, it's really good. I would it's say really good. You You Matter would be better, but... You would me. say that. I wouldn't say that. I would say that. <laughs> Just imagine, if you had enough You You Matter, you could make more drawers and more packing tape. I, I feel like it's easier to make drawers than with you, you matter. It's it's wood, dude. It's literally the very first resource that you get your hands on in this you, game. You know how much you matter I have to use. We need a reason to use it. Don't I mean, I feel like me. storage drawers is kind of a silly reason to use you, you matter, dude. <gasps> you store drawers and fill it with old drums of you, you. I mean, if you want to do that, I would be okay with that. I mean, I have a quarter full of drum of you. That's kind of close. That doesn't seem like that much. It's a thousand buckets or so. Shenanigans. You made me turn the machine off. So. Yes, I did, because it was literally using yes, up like 30% of the server's tick time. I didn't say you didn't have a reason. Yeah, I didn't think you did. <laughs> it was a valid reason to turn it off. You're just like, I want to turn it back on. I know you do. I know you do. Did you know, um, I'm not sure if you know this, but there's a thing that you should know. Uh, did you know, okay. sir, that there is a config option um, that I had McJD add to the wands mod that the acceleration wand can't be used in a mechanical user? Arms of the angels. Did you know that, like, was a thing? Uh, I kind of figured that was already a thing. It was just turned off for the server. No, no. Like, it, it wasn't a thing until... It is now, but it wasn't at the time. Is it configurable, or is it always on? It's a config option that he added. So, okay. basically, you can say, um, I don't want these things to be able right. to be placed inside automated machines. Like, you can hold the wand yourself and use it all you want, but, um, yeah, don't, don't, don't do it in a machine. It'd be interesting if um, Tamo took it a step further and made it so you can have a config option for item not usable on said block. So a, a server admin could say, yes, you could use this in a user so long as it doesn't do it on this. I see. That would be interesting because uh, you could have some things like a mechanical user speed up one crop or something, but not speed up EU matter production. Maybe. Maybe. I feel like that would be hard to figure out over time, but still. <laughs> yeah, no, I like I like this config option. Like in, in the pack that I'm making, it's it's gonna be on that you can't put in a mechanical user. It's just it it just opens up the opportunity for abuse and lag is really what that comes down to. Oh yeah, because you can put it in a um, lily pad of fertility and speed up everything. Yeah, I mean there's worse abuses, but yeah. Yes. Well, it's if you're on a server and you have potatoes nearby and you use that wand on that fertility pad, everything grows instantly, which makes everything update. And if you have a, uh, a harvester next to it, it'll harvest it all instantly and so on. Yes. Which one of these things can I get rid of? Do I not really need? Eh, you can go there for now. We'll figure it out in a minute. Um, so I don't think I need that slave controller thing or the oak trim. I might need more cable. Let's ask for 40 of you. Missing redstone. Ah, ah, ah. hilarious. Missing redstone. Do I really not have any cable in here? It's a bummer.
<laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> That's awesome. How much is that using RF wise? Uh, network transmitter, 94 RS attack. Not terrible. You aren't needed anymore. Um, can I get cables now? Yes, I can. Nice. That's awesome. So basically what we'll want to do... Okay. go and then you're no longer needed cool and our redstone's available to us all right so our, my refined storage system has been moved so if you need resources to build with you can just tap into mine for now i haven't moved any okay. like the furnace stuff but like everything's here except my my farm stuff okay cool. Within reason. Just think, what would Dyer do? Okay. I don't mm. want to. That I feel like that could get me in trouble as well. Probably. All right, we're going to wrap up the episode here, guys. So for now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Progress on the Void base. Maybe someone will explain this complex machine when he gets back. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Take it easy.